Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. We have yet another day of using all heavy choppas. I know it's like four days in a row here, but it's just such a good strat and they're so fun to use. But today we are going to be attacking um, War Factory with it and then we're going to head on to a map clear because I am going to assume War Factory is going to be very easy, especially with these heavy choppas. So let's waste no more time and hop into the first battle here and uh, my allergies today have been absolutely horrible. So if I sound very unenthusiastic, just know I have internal enthusiasm, but on the outside, I am honestly a little bit miserable. It's not too bad. Um, I used to get bad allergies all the time, but uh, this is the first time I've gotten them in a while. But it's just like more annoying, uh, but it's okay. We'll get through it today. Uh, but look at this first attack. We already have gotten 17... Uh, War Factory points in it. I, I think we're gonna be able to take this out in one attack I kind of lost track of what's going on, but we haven't even lost a single heavy chopper yet, but we're gonna redirect flare um, Our heavy choppers over here and then kind of get them working more toward the HQ And we're gonna easily be able to take this out in one attack here And you guys want to know something sad going into this week I thought I had max level heavy choppers because I think we had them before I thought I maxed them out but uh, I checked today we still have one level under max which kind of it, it's a little bit sad but think about it these aren't even maxed out and they are completely dominant and borderline broken at least against these daily events and my current like player bases that I attack um, imagine what max level heavy choppers would look like I know it's not that much of an upgrade but it's still like even more um, even, even more stats on top of what, what we already have but look at that war factory taken out in one attack that is a very nice feeling with the heavy choppers and we we didn't even lose a single one that is awesome but now we get to turn to our map clear it's been a couple days since I cleared my map so not a great start to my push but we are uh, we're, we're here to bring it back that's why we're attacking i think we can get through all the bases on my map today assuming no one is online but um these heavy chopper attacks they are pretty quick so uh, we won't be here for like 30 minutes clearing who knows maybe we'll run into some trouble or i got more bases on my map than i initially saw but i i kind of scouted out earlier we don't have that many to really clear out so we won't uh, hold you hostage here too long, you guys know. But anyway, look at this bandit here. We are just completely destroying him. Honestly, attack going a little bit slower than I kind of expected. I was, I was talking up the heavy choppers. There, there's no ice statues on this base. I was like, these are pretty quick attacks, and they're completely dominant. But they're 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 uh, going at a reasonable pace, but. A little bit slower than I initially thought but that's kind of why I like taking the front loaded bases with these because the attacks just go quicker so if I see a back loaded base and I'm able to find a different opponent I always take that gamble that we're gonna get a front loaded base but the one exception is if it's a back loaded base and they have like mega loot then I will attack it but um, anyway let's move on to this one we'll get as many uh, heavy choppers here down as we can and now uh, we gotta wait it out just gotta wait for a couple more buildings to die we'll get that final boat out I'd be I, I could probably place down only four boats and still completely destroy bases I don't want to try that out though because we're kind of on a time limit here we want to get through as many bases as possible but I think back when the first time the heavy chop was dropped there you weren't able to hold two per landing craft so it was only eight heavy choppers per strat. I'm pretty sure even then it was still pretty strong and viable. Maybe not as strong because it would take a lot longer for the heavies to destroy the base. But look at this: 16 heavy choppers, one level under max, absolutely destroying these players. Let's move on to the next base. Hopefully, a bit more loot than that last one because that was a little disappointing. But this base. Looks like we got a shield generator to worry about, and not much else. Ice, ice base, but not, not boosted. Uh, I'll take that. We're going to place our heavy choppers on the left-hand side here, just so they can shade more toward that shield generator eventually. 
normally what I'll do with the heavy chappas here is spread them out along the beach so then just a wall of heavies and heavy chappas come and did destroy it but did I see a heavy chappa just die no we still got all of them I thought I saw I think I saw them deploying some heavies and I thought it like fell to the ground that would have been sad I have not lost a heavy chappa in a battle yet I got a feeling it's gonna happen today we're not gonna we're not gonna try to make it happen we're gonna try and keep them all alive but I, I don't think I've lost one since at least this round of heavy chop has come up um, because I I don't know if I've even used them on the warship before to be honest no I had to but kind of quit playing that so uh, I don't have much experience with heavy chop on the warship but look at this base You're gonna get taken out ghost fart here great name we are uh we're going to take your loot, and we're going to spend that toward an upgrade, hopefully, later. We don't have a lot of iron, but if you saw my video, uh, one of my more recent videos, you would know I got an iron safe waiting to be used. So if we have every other resource except iron, we will pop that iron safe and get, the, get that upgrade. But last base didn't have much loot at all. This one, still not as much, but... Uh, quite a bit better so I'll take it but let's get our troops down um, still have to get one heavy chop but almost almost let two uh, not drop there but we caught that one now it's just a waiting game not much really to this gameplay you just place them down they do all the heavy lifting you throw some periodic shocks and you're essentially good maybe pop a battle orders that seems important uh, when I was first attacking with it the other day uh, during this cycle of the heavy choppers, I think I was using critter spawn or something, and I switched to brick um, battle orders here, and it, it, it was a complete game changer. Speeds up the attacks tremendously, and that's great. But let's get a flare onto the HQ. Almost already dead down. It goes very quick attack, and look at that. We got an ice forest at the top there. You would think with all 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 that all the trees, you would be able to get more more wood, but Apparently not and we don't have that many more bases to attack what do we have three maybe four I see only three so we gotta hope we find a loot monster here because we're kind of low on every single resource we got a gamble that was like a free attack but I think we can do better on the loot and yes we can let's go a lot better loot um, I'm not the one for uh, celebrating prematurely here because I I, I might lose it, but it's heavy choppers. There's no way we are gonna lose this. Why? All you gotta do is place them down. I could just, I, I could walk away for a couple minutes. I'd come back with a victory. Probably no. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm just gonna let it happen. Our first heavy chopper has died. Wow. Quite a moment. I, I, I don't know what to say. A couple words for the respect you were. We knew this day would come eventually. It is very sad, and quite frankly, I wasn't that prepared for a heavy job to die. But your compadres here on this base will make it up to you, and we will retrain you to come back stronger than ever. I promise you that. And look at this. We could probably be doing something here with our all of our energy, like shocking, because all of the buildings are... Uh, are clumped together there but I'm just a little distraught by us actually losing one but it does not matter did you guys see the loot at the beginning it's worth it rest in peace heavy choppa we are gonna train you back like you were never gone let's get you retrained let's scout out our last two bases here do I take the risk that I want more stone than that but also you know what we're not here to play it safe we're here to be exciting and it paid off I think we got more stone got more iron I think the wood about the same maybe a little bit less but that is okay a more balanced resource thing here I'm not even really looking at the iron because we got the iron safe but um, it does have a little bit more iron I say I'm not even looking at it I should say I'm not really factoring that in because we have the iron safe but I did see got more iron with this base too so I guess that is a benefit but uh, we, we won't really need it in the grand scheme of things here. Let's just get a quick flare onto the HQ. We'll pop a battle orders and we should be able to take it out. Down it goes. No heavy choppers were lost during this attack. There we go. 
and we got one more base. Let's hope it's enough loot to get an upgrade. Enough stone, enough wood. There we go, 400,000 of each. Glad I boosted resource reward. I was considering not boosting up. I accidentally did it out of habit. We got to find a different base here. Not enough. I feel like we're not going to be as lucky as last base. Am I wrong? Wow, we are whew, tremendously wrong. I don't think it'll matter, though. I think we'll have enough for an upgrade. To, uh, we'll see in due time here. It's not like we're getting no loot, but it's going to be like... 120,000 of each if even um, that that's pretty sad I gambled the base before and I was like I, I felt hot I felt like we're on a we're on a good streak of finding new opponents with more loot but we lost gambler always loses house always wins in the end let that be a lesson but uh, I'm not ashamed of it I would do it again even if I knew the outcome I would keep you guys in the dark and be like we can do it maybe I did know the outcome no, I didn't. But anyway, taking out Harry Scripps here. Able to take out our final base. And the moment of truth. Will we have enough stone? Will we have enough wood? I know we won't have enough iron, but we got the iron safe. I keep going back to that. Very important note there. Let's go. We don't have one. Okay. Gotta make sure I wasn't uh, doing an upgrade. Oops. I clicked into the shop on accident. Use code cosmic. Um, but anyway, go to the classified items here. Use item. It wasn't enough. We're going to have to tap into our resource boat. Oh, you hate to see it. I'm trying to build that up, but it's an emergency. We need an upgrade, and let's get our final mortar upgrade, I guess. And then after this mortar, it will only be sniper towers, and still we have a max base. I am so late on getting my base maxed up, but we are so close. I am excited to, maybe uh, just to bother me, I will leave one sniper tower not maxed out. One level under max just to bother me, so I'll never actually have a maxed out base. But that's gonna be it. Heavy chop is broken. If you um, if you don't have them unlocked or anything, I I kind of feel bad for you. But hopefully you can grind it, grind it out, and get them next time they come in probably like two years or maybe a year. I don't know. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.